We need to, need to, need to convert this. And oh, what a hit, what a catch. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna start the new series that I promised in the previous video that came out on Thursday, and that is the NCAA Dynasty series that we're gonna be doing here on NCAA 10. Uh, before we get started here, I do wanna say that since we are playing on an Xbox 360 and this game plays in only 720, we will be putting out these videos in 720, which means the webcam itself might look bad because I have to move it down to 720, even though it's a 1080p uh, camera. So that might look a little worse. And this will be the only series on the on the channel that will be in 720. The other series will be in 1080 because I can record those in 1080. But just for this, like I said, since the game is in 720, we have to record in 720. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump in here to our dynasty. As you can see, we will be coaching for the Memphis Tigers. I wanted to start out with a small school and kind of make this realistic, you know, with being a head coach at a small school and try to take our opportunity and move up into a bigger school. This isn't a complete rebuild series. It's more of a, what would the coach actually do? If I get a bigger job that I think is good and I like, I'll take it and we'll move up to that school. Um, I decided to do NCAA 10 instead of NCAA 14 for a few reasons. One, you never really see NCAA 10 on YouTube that much. You see quite a few NCAA 14 series from multiple different YouTubers. And I figured it would be a good change if we just did NCAA 10. It's something you just don't really see. Also, even though I have NCAA 14, it's an expensive game for most people to get. It's around $200, hard to get a hold of. And I figured for the people watching, it would be more might be more entertaining if we play a game where... It's pretty easy for them to get. NCAA 10, I think, is only like 20 bucks, if that, if you want to get a copy. And it would just be more entertaining because it's a series that anybody watching could go grab the game and, and start playing themselves and enjoy. With that being said, though, we're going to jump right into it here. We got to get into our preseason recruiting, our, our red shirting players, custom schedules, all that good stuff. We're going to zoom through this really quickly. Uh, because it can be kind of tedious, and then we'll see you once we get all that done. Alright guys, so we just got done with the preseason recruiting, custom schedule, all that good stuff. We'll take a look at the schedule here in just a second before we play the first game. But I want to take a minute here to show the gameplay options that we'll be using throughout this uh, series. So to start off, we're going to be playing on All-American skill. I know there's the Heisman skill level, I've played it on NCAA 14. But for a few reasons, I want to stay here at All-American. Um, first off, I don't have a lot of experience here in NCAA 10, and it plays quite differently than 14 and 13, which I'm used to. Also, I want this to be a, a challenging series, but I also want to have fun. I don't want to feel like I have to try as hard as I can every game just to win. I want it to be, you know, not a cakewalk, but something I enjoy while I'm doing the series. So for that reason, we'll stay here at All-American. Um, injuries, everything's going to stay the same except for quarter length, which we have bumped up to eight minutes. And that's because with five minutes, you just really don't get time to have that many drives a quarter. It's usually you get a drive, they get a drive, and the quarter's over. And it's really not that fun like that. I don't want full length quarters because that can take a while. So I think eight minutes is a good area to where we have some decent gameplay, but it doesn't take forever. So with that, we're going to jump out of here and we're going to go check out our schedule. All right, guys, so here we are with the schedule. Uh, we're going to be starting off the season with a very tough road game at number 11, Ole Miss. It's going to be a, a rough game, a rivalry game. It's going to be hard to win. We're going to have to fight it out. But after that, we will go to Indiana to play game number two. Then we will host Colorado State. For game number four, we'll be hosting Marshall. Uh, then we'll move to UCF. Uh, we'll play UTEP at Memphis, be a home game for us. Then we'll move to Southern Miss. We'll have a bye week. Then we'll play host to ECU, which is Eastern Carolina. Uh, we'll go to an in-state rival. It, it doesn't say it here on the game, which is kind of confusing. But in real life, in basketball and football, this game here can be, be kind of brutal. The Memphis and, and Tennessee really don't like each other because it's a big in-state rival type deal. 
So even though it doesn't say it, we'll just count it here as a, as a big game for us at Tennessee. Um, we'll also uh, move on to play UAB. It'll be a home game for us. We'll go play at Houston, at Tulsa, and then a bye week to wrap up the season. And then it'll move on to conference championships if we make it. So with that, we're going to jump right on into our first game of the season against number 11 Ole Miss, and we'll see what we can do. All right, guys, as you can see, here we are at Ole Miss, number 11 Ole Miss. This is going to be a big game. It's a televised game, as you can hear the commentators back there. That's a cool feature for this game. Um, if it's on TV, then you'll get commentators. If it's not on TV, you won't get any commentators. So it's kind of an interesting aspect, and it plays a role in recruiting when you get TV exposure. But with that being said, we're going to jump right in. We're going to skip all the pregame stuff here. And before we hop in here, I do want to go over how we're going to play the game um, in the series. So for the sake of time and, and not having super long videos and all of that, we're going to play offense only. We'll let the defensive coordinator do what he needs to do. We'll just be an offensive minded head coach. Um, that gives us uh, time to, at the end of the, the episode, after the game, we can do some recruiting or any other thing that might be important. And it just keeps the videos at a nice short length. Uh, with that being said, we're going to jump in and we're going to get heads. And we get heads, so we're going to kick the ball here because I don't want to receive the ball anytime, especially when I'm the big underdog here. Um, this is a cool aspect here on NCAA 10 that I'm not used to in the other NCAAs. And that's your game plans. You can adjust how aggressive or conservative uh, you are in each area, offensive and defensively. Uh, we're going to focus here on the offense because, I mean, that's what we're playing as. I want my receivers to get open because it's a big game for us. We need some big plays. I want good blocks. I don't want imp I don't want to do impact blocks because that can make clipping, and clipping is a big deal in this game. They call clipping all the time, so we're going to keep that at normal. Uh, catching and big run. I don't want big run to be aggressive because we can't risk fumbling, fumbling it here. We need no turnovers. And catching, we're going to keep normal because I don't need them dropping passes because we're going to get uh, good, hard coverage against us. And I want to make sure we're going to make the catch versus breaking tackles and all of that. So with that, we're kicking off here. We will sim the kickoff and let the defensive coordinator do what he got to do. I expect they'll go down and put up sin. They don't. Wow. We actually got to stop with our D plus defense that's that's actually surprising here I mean on the 20 and so we're gonna jump straight in the shotgun here love my shotgun we're gonna spread flex formation and I think we're gonna start off with a short little pass here From their own -yard line. see what the team is made of see what we can do see what the defense is gonna do okay here we got and it's gonna be there He's going to make the nice play. So it's like that's one of our star players there. On receiver number 22. Alright, so first and 10. First drive. Already got one first down. Not too bad. We're going to try run it here and see what we can get out of this. And we run straight into where the blocker is blocking someone and go straight down. All right, so here we are, our second or third first down already. Kind of moving the ball, not too badly here. Oh, it was there. I just waited too long. That one's on me. I was trying to wait on the bigger play. I didn't make the short pass, and so that that one's on me. Not even on the the offense there, but we'll make up for it. So their playbook here at Memphis, it's pretty similar to the playbook I was using at WKU and my personal dynasty. So we're going to see if we can make the best out of this. Nope, it's not there. Tried to fit it in that window, but can't expect the most out of out of these players, especially the quarterback and stuff. I'm not going to make those deep, accurate passes like I expect. That one's just on me. So off, start off our first drive. We know we can move the ball. Um, I just got to make not dumb mistakes there. That one was dumb. I thought I could fit it in there. But like I said, the the running or the quarterback just doesn't have that accuracy. And I can't make those tight passes like that. 
All right, so let's see what we can do here. We got another stop, which is surprising. Oh, he's really off. Okay. The first drive, he wasn't too bad, but... That's wide open. He... Ah, oh, he didn't catch it. Wasn't the best throw either. Threw it to his backside, but... If he could have threw it in stride, that'd have been fine. But he threw it to the backside. The receiver had to adjust, and it's got laid out. All right, so let's keep it simple here. Go across the middle. See if we can get a first down. That's all we need. Now just a dumb play. All right, we're going to have to punt it here. Not a bad... Oh, if we can get to it. I think we can get it and stop. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be stopped inside the 10, I believe. Great punt there to pin them deep That's good for the defense. The defense should be able to capitalize here, hopefully. Let's see what they can do. Hopefully they're doing... Oh, they're already doing better than we are. And we got an interception, so we're going to have good field position. Let's play it safe here. We want seven, but like I said, we need points here. We want to take the lead. Steps to the line of scrimmage. Single set backfield. Not a bad run. Five yards up the middle. like to see it. like to see it. So we're going to stay under center here. Shotgun wasn't working the best for us. Especially because we're not going to do a lot of deep passing, it doesn't look like. And, okay. So we're not going to be able to make some of these passes. Got to be prepared for that. That's wide open, so we better make that one. And we do. That's a big receiver. That dude is pretty tall. So if we go deep, we know who we might want to go to here. Amber and get ah oh, false start. Not what we need it. Gotta do better, guys. Gotta do better. All right, first and fifteen. We're gonna see what we can do here. Going back to the air. A simple play. Okay, we have the defense to come off sides there, so that helps us out. Kind of balances out what just happened with our our place. We're first and ten again in a matter of seconds. Right, we're gonna run it here. Got our five yards back. We're gonna run up the middle. See, see what we can do. See if the line can make a play. At the back, no, the line's not. That's so we're gonna get a holding as well. Yeah, that's a holding. So we're going backwards now. It's gonna be first and twenty. This drive is just a catastrophe. All right, first and 20. It feels like we haven't been able to get off this first down in like five whole minutes. We've really been on first down forever. We get the blitz here. They get caught off guard. Wide open play. And he almost gets the first. Maybe. No, second and one. So they blitz there. Play action. Got him caught off guard. And we're able to make a good play. We're going to go up the middle here. Try to get that first down. They're four yards away. Here we go. See if the line can do a little bit better here. Oh, we might. Yeah, we're going to get it there. Okay. I didn't know if we were going to be able to bounce it out there, but we were. There was no hole in the middle whatsoever. We're going to be on the what? On the one. So let's go in I form and see if we have the power to push it in there. About the one and a half. We're going to see if we, if we, if we got the power... Offensive power to push it in there, and we do. So we're gonna get the, we're gonna take the lead here early on Ole Miss, which is is huge. We needed this. This allows us to have a shot at the game. Now we need to hope that the defense continues to do what they do and get some more stops. But yeah, this is all we need it right here. A clutch interception gives us short field position, and we're able to capitalize and we take the lead seven nothing late in the first. And, oh, let's kick off. So we'll see what they can do. They drive down and get three, which sucks, but it's not seven. So we're going to keep the lead here for the moment. So we got everybody playing up. If we had a deep play, that'd be pretty clutch, but we don't. Someone get there. And we just throw it too far to the forward. It was there. We kind of threw it off the back foot, moving backwards. We kind of had to. They were coming. From their own 17-yard line. All right, see what we got here. Smith lines up under center. Single back backfield. Wise wide open. He's going to make the play. An easy first down right over the middle. Everybody was fooled on that one. 
So I'm not sure if we're going to have the ability to throw it very well downfield. I know our short passes don't seem to be the best. So we'll see. We'll try it here soon. X is wide open. And he, I'm telling you, he's a big old dude. Charles is a big old dude. How tall is Charles? He is just big. Let's go, hang on. I, I want to see this really quick. Charles, what what are you, bud? Six. Charles is a whopping six eight two fifteen. That is why he looks so big. Goodness, Charles. Goodness, he's pretty slow. Only an eighty nine, but I mean, what's his what's his catching? It's an eighty six. Okay, but he is just a tall. Freaking dude, Charles, the big old 6'8", 215 monster. That's what I like to see here on offense. For the to come up call. All right, let's see what we can do here. Okay, they have the backers playing spread out just a little bit. See if we can use that to get a good run play. We do. All right, so this is going to be our first play kind of going downfield with. We're going to see if we get time in the pocket. And if we do, we might be able to get to Charles because he is a very tall guy. No, he was double cut. Oh, right at the end, he broke free. But I didn't want to throw him to double coverage there. We're up 7-3. I'm not going to risk it this early on and try to throw it and force it. I don't know what kind of arm we got. I'm only going to take that deep throw right now if if we got it. If it's wide open. Oh, I'm hitting the button, but he got hit beforehand. Ah, damn it. I wish I could have seen, like, as soon as we hiked it and I seen, seen them break open. I was spamming it, but we just couldn't because we got hit there. No, wh why am I, why did I call run? I'm talking and not remembering what we're play, what play we have. Uh, I thought we could get a Charles. We couldn't. Okay, so third and 14 here. We kind of stalled out here on this drive. We're going to see what we got. Charles almost makes the play. We're getting rushed pretty easily here on offense. Okay, we need to try to get this out of bounds. So we're going to go this way because I suck at kicking left. We're gonna try to pin him out. Oh, we almost had it. So close to the one. We almost had that. All right, so we stalled out there. See if the defense can make a stop here. At least hold him to three. We do make a stop, which is pretty clutch. We're getting, getting somewhat decent field position here, almost right on the 50. We really need to capitalize here, though, before we go into second half. I feel like that could be beneficial he makes the cut doesn't make the catch so our catching in traffic isn't the best um which is fine just kind of need to make those plays sometimes and i just try to force something as we were getting rushed so we're third and ten already a quick almost three and out see if we can convert here we're getting a lot of pressure pretty quickly here on the quarterback Looks like they're coming again. They're going to leave the middle wide open, though, with the blitz. We'll make the play and get the first down. First and 10. We'll be on about well, right on the 40, it looks like. And it's not a good block there. He sheds it pretty easily. Stops us right in the tracks. We're going to jump out here to shotgun. We haven't ran much shotgun this game. Wasn't too sure if we could do it. With our with our QB here, Smith no, because he's gonna overthrow that. If it's there in front of him, it's a catch, but it wasn't overthrown. Just a tad. So our quarterback here, he he's decent, not the best. I think this play's gonna work though. And it almost does, just not enough for the first. We might be close enough to field. Ooh, this gonna be tough. How far is this? Fifty-three. I don't know if we can. We're gonna try. We got a, we got a bad 
three mile per hour wind that's not in our favor the kick is up it's got the distance and he got it and now we take a look at the drive summary we are memphis with a three mile per hour headwind and we just drilled a 53 yard field goal a minute 16 here, here in the second fixing to go into halftime i want to have a lead going into halftime i don't want to be tied up even if it's just three points i want the lead here we had good run a good hole right there on the right side we're gonna be second in inches we're gonna play the obvious Second look here. We're gonna under center, run it right up the middle. They're probably gonna expect this, but I just want the first down, and then we'll start pushing the ball downfield. All right, we'll start pushing it downfield. It's gonna be a little hard to push it downfield super quickly because we don't. Oh, that's our deep pass. There we go. First down. Call oh, hurry up. Oh, we got an injured player, so that gives us time. We're gonna jump out the shotgun. It's first and ten. Gotta hurry though. We just need to get to I mean <laughs> how far do we need to get? We just hit a 53 yard field goal. Oh no, I wanted A, but I hit the wrong button. But it's okay, we make it work. We're gonna call a timeout. So we didn't get out of bounds. We're moving downfield pretty effectively. We got two timeouts, 29 seconds left. See what we can do here. It's there. This one goes to the first and time to hurry up. I don't know if this called the same play. Okay, that's not the same play. That's what we need it. Big A was... Oh, I thought he was going left. That was on me, but we're fine. We made the completion. It was risky, but we made the completion. Come on, run! Get to the line. Anytime both corners blitz and you fail to get to the quarterback, the offense is looking. Give me a timeout. Give me a timeout. Give me a timeout. Oh, four seconds. Nah, we're playing aggressive here. Nah, we ain't. Nah, we're not. We're not taking the baby move here and kicking a field goal. We're going for it. Might bite us in the ass, but we get the ball. We get the ball in the second half. We're going for seven. Big Charles makes the play. Big Charles makes the play in the back of the end zone. Big freaking Charles. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. I just hit a button, hope for the best, and Big Charles made the play. Watch Big Charles. Watch this man. Go up and make the play. Go. Big Charles, we love you. Paul, Charles, you, we love you. We love you. Big freaking Charles, guys. Big. <laughs> he went up for that. That's what we want to see. That's the energy we need to bring this entire game. All right, so we're up seven. Starting here in the second half. Five DBs on the field. And. They're calling an audible. Oh, they're going to leave that wide open. And nope. there it is. So on instant play 10, the defensive line makes a lot of blocks. So it's not surprising for me. I experienced that playing it a few days ago. No biggie. I mean, it's kind of cool because a lot of the games don't have it happen that often. From their own it does get annoying sometimes, but it's fine. The so second and 10 here. They come out with three wide receivers. Oh, he read that beautifully. I thought he was going to follow the line. Oh, terrible play on our part. But he, he read that perfectly. He read that perfectly. I thought he was going deep, and as soon as I thought he committed, I tried to throw it, and he came up and intercepted. That was a good play. That's a play you expect from a, a high-star defensive back. Not much we can do there. We'll come out. We'll rebound. See what we got here. The offense will start at the 20. First down, 10 yards to go. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. Smith options out. That was a risky option. Didn't get us much. They're just, the backs are too quick. I don't know if a play like that's going to work. All right, second and 14. Their defense is really stepping up here. Four wide receivers. Oh, that's 
pass interference. Come on. He just pushed him out of the way. It was there. And knocking it down to prevent right. the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. Defense! Defense! Come on, that was just that was Schmitt annoying. I'm not even gonna lie. Third and 14. See if we can convert here. It's there, big Charles making the play because it's big freaking Charles. He is our man. I love this dude. Why does he have the star? Y'all are rigging this shit. Big Charles deserves the star. Big Charles is our man. I don't know if we could draw him off. They get good penetration. The line isn't the best there for running. It's kind of hit or miss. Hey, Kirk. It looks like this kid just spent the night out on the town. No rush, though. We don't want to force coach. anything stupid here and get another interception. We're not out of this game. It's all tied up. Oh, oh where is he going? I don't know where he was going. His route was this. This was his route. LB running back. That is That was his route, and he ended up... I don't even know. I don't even know. He still almost got open. We almost completed it, but still. Got hit as we threw. Didn't make the completion. Not what we needed. Did not need a need a punt here, but I'm not gonna try to tackle him because this game will break my ankles. It breaks my ankles. I'm not gonna lie. I'll say he was moving out. All right, we need a defense to come up here like they did in the first half. They do. We get a stop. We get the ball back here. Let's go back to under center. It seemed to work for us in the first half. See if it works for us here in the second half. If we can take it up the middle here. Smith is under center. Single back backfield. A good run here. About five or six yards. Five yards there. The second and five. See if we can hit him here with a play action. See if we can draw him. One man backfield. Running back makes the catch. It was a tough catch, but he makes it. Not a lot open there. Alright, I don't know what our backup running back is like. That's a great pickup by this back. But we're gonna stop him, man, because our running back is kind of tired. I don't want anything stupid happening like a fumble. Oh, if we could have got that block from whoever 11 is, that would have been, been a good gain right there. Alright, see what they got here. Like they, they're they going to show a blitz. They're going to come with it. They're going to leave the middle wide open. We make a terrible pass because we have no accuracy whatsoever. That was not a very good pass by this quarter. That's why this kid is on defense and not offense. I imagine they're going to blitz us here. They are. Big Charles makes a play because he doesn't care. It is Big Charles. That's a smart play here by the... From the 42 yard line. All right, guys, we got we got to score here. I feel like this is this is an important drive. Got Charles coming across the middle. Oh, he got an arm. So we we are terrible at the short pass, but we have an absolute cannon, an absolute cannon like that. It was perfect. An absolute cannon like that. But we can't make half these short paths. God damn it. He splits the with this the team and here's our drive doesn't fail to surprise me. We're up 24-17. Gotta keep this momentum going. See if the defense can ride off our momentum. They don't. They tie it up with us. 24-24. Late in the third. See what we can do here. The tough game. We have to score almost every drive at this point because I don't know how much we can rely on the defense to bail us out if we don't score. That's a face mask. That's a face mask. No flag, though. No flag, though. Home field advantage. You see how it is. That's all right. We don't need your face mask. We don't need it. We don't need it. 
We don't need it. Smith lines up in the shotgun. Four receivers wide. And it's gonna be there. He makes the easy catch. He actually runs the right route this time. So he makes the easy catch. God, our running back, he needs to hit the cardio. Does he gets worn so quickly? That's the best way to put the quarterback on his back or force a bad throw. Didn't work that time, but watch out. They'll get in there sooner or later. Try to change the play. Smith That's a bad pass. Here's a throw and it's almost uh, I need to not do that. So our playbook isn't very diverse. There's not a lot of pass plays we got here that aren't what we've already ran. Which is unfortunate. Smith drops back. He makes a catch. No, he doesn't. Got hit as we threw. It's fine. Third and ten here. Late, late in the third. We need to convert this. We need to, need to, need to convert this. And oh, what a hit. What a catch. Jordan said, nah. We ain't letting Big Charles get all the credit here in this game. We got to make a clutch catch to get us the first down. We're going to take it like a champ. And get us the first down. That's what we like to see. We get out to the outside. We have speed. We have some speed. I think he's an 89. And we're going to get a good gain there. A good gain there. We're going to keep us on our first down. We're going to go into the fourth. We're going to let it run into the fourth here. Is it not going to run into the fourth? There it goes. So we're going to the fourth. Four is in the air, guys. Four is in the air. Fourth quarter, we gotta bring it all right here. Tied ball game, 24-24 against number 11, Ole Miss. Who would have thought that little old Memphis would have been in this game going into the fourth with an opportunity to take the lead early in the fourth quarter? First down, 10 to go. I tell you what, out of all the people, I think Big Charles knew. Big Charles knew we were gonna be in this game. He said, I'm gonna make play after play and make sure we're in this game. In second and inches here. We're going to play it safe. We're going to go right up the middle, get that first down. We're going to get it? Maybe? Yes, we're going to get it here. First and goal. Okay, I want to stay... I want to stay under center but i have a high feeling they might blitz a lot here and we don't have the line to stay under center because they'll get right to us let's play action this on the gun we're gonna make the play not the touchdown if we wouldn't got hit it was a touchdown we got hit as we threw once again we're gonna see if our offense line here has the has the muscle to get us in and try to punch it in Right up the middle, and we do. We get it in. We take the lead early in the fourth. 31 24, pending field goal, but 31 24. And that's what we like to see. Taking the lead, a seven point lead early in the fourth here against number 11 Ole Miss. Man, we, we might have a shot here to pull this thing off. The defense can hold it out. They get a good return almost to the 40, not what we wanted to see. But a three and out, a three and out. The defense stands up, says, you're not scoring on us. We're getting it back to the offense. And we have a shot to go up to and run some clock. So a huge series here. We got to run as much East clock as we can, but we, we can't stall out. Set. We cannot stall out. We at least need a field goal here. We do not want to stall out. Nice run up the middle. Four yards gained. We want that clock run. We're gonna hike it at five or under five. So you gotta burn as much time as we can and score. Hiked it at eight. Not my best, my best move. We're gonna get a holding. That's really not what we needed. We're gonna have to back them down to normal because they're on a, they're aggressive right now. We get a second and fourteen. That's a killer. Not what we wanted here. So I'm gonna hit him with a draw here. I feel like they might anticipate the pass. It's second and 14. Smith lines up under center. Single back backfield. And I was right, but we don't get the block in the middle from the tight end. He just do doesn't care, I guess. 
All right, here we are, third and six. We really need to convert here so we can burn some more clock. It's only about five and a half to go. We really need to convert here. Speed, speed, speed! No, we didn't get it. I thought we could outspeed him there. We have to punt it here. I know it's only on the one. We have one yard to go, but if we don't get that, that's an easy score for them. Run the clock, though. Run the clock. We'll get it down to about five minutes to go. And we'll hope the defense can get another stop. If not, we saw that they can only tie it with us. So. Get a good punt. Good punt. A good, good tackle, no return essentially. So that's exactly what we need it. We gotta hope the defense pulls up right here. Let's hope they show up. They, they do. They only get a field goal. They only get a field goal. And there's 2:49 left. 2:49 left. We gotta run that clock. We gotta run that clock. They're up four. Up four. We, we want a field goal. We want to run this clock. They know we want to run this clock, so they're gonna they're gonna protect that run. They're gonna protect it hard. But that clock run. I was gonna run and play action here, but I think we can get it up the middle if we get a good block. When we don't, which is unfortunate, the third and six, not what we wanted here. Third and six. We're gonna run that clock, but. Actually, you know, we don't need to run the clock on this down. Because if we, we, we need time in case they score, too. But it's going to be there. We're going to get the first down. We're going to get the clutch first down. They're going to have to start burning timeouts. What we want it. I know this is going to this is gonna show our hand. But we're going to go to I-form. Just to see if we can get the offensive line to make some holes. Get that fullback. See if we can get some good runs here the first already a decent run that's be second of five they burn their second timeouts leave them with just one a minute 52 left going right back to it i formation we need a first down memphis is up four we're gonna hold but it closes we're pushing not quite there's gonna be about third and three third and two but they have no timeouts left we really really need this first down if we can get this first down we can just about secure the game but we gotta get it we gotta get it and do we get it are they gonna give it to us they're gonna give it to us we get the first we get the first and like that just like that we come in to number 11 Ole Miss and win by four. First game of the season, no one thought we were going to win this game except for Big Charles. And we take the dub 31 to 27, a big season opener for us. Gives us huge momentum going through this season. No one expected it. Come in, shock Ole Miss at Ole Miss, a big SEC threat. And I, I can't be more happy with the team here, especially the performance and clutch move from Big Charles. And we learned quite quite a bit from this game. We learned our quarterback has a cannon when we need it. Big Charles is a huge play. He's a huge guy, but he's a huge playmaker. We run. We can run the shotgun. Our short pass is 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 mid tier. But other than that, like. It looks pretty good. Our outlook looks pretty good here for the rest of the season. If we can play games like this, then we can have a great season, especially when we get in the conference play. This really impressive Big Charles, man. It, it was just, it was that huge catch he got there when we went for it, the touchdown instead of the field goal. And he said, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab that and we're going to score. That was just, that was perfect. But that's going to do it for us for us here today NCAA 10 got a dub against number 11 Ole Miss first game of the season found out who our playmakers are um just can't be more excited than that going into game number two we'll do recruiting in the second episode that comes out next week 
but for this for this game to be as big as it was and as exciting as it was i want to leave off on a huge win not worry about recruiting today and just go off feeling high on that huge dub and just oh man big charles that's all i have to say big charles youtube i appreciate you all make sure you like and subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next episode